Well, when I think of the Social Services and Wellbeing Wales Act, the first thing that occurs to me is that in this fourth assembly, the first assembly where we've ever had full lawmaking powers, this will be the largest bill in size and in scope of any piece of legislation that has gone through the National Assembly for Wales. And I think that tells us something important about the significance that the Assembly itself attaches to the whole area of social services. The Act really does represent a cultural shift in the way that we think about these very, very important services. Moving them from an era in which we tended to think when someone came through the door, what was the problem that that person had and how were we going to solve it? To a situation in which we ask ourselves, what strengths does this person have? What assets do they have? And how are we going to work together on the issue that they've come through our door to address? So it's an act which is much about giving voice and control back to the person who needs the service and to thinking of the job of work we do with them as a piece of work which is genuinely jointly owned between us. Now when we do that, what we will do will be to think of social services as a service that is all about helping people to manage for as long as they can to have as much control over their own lives as possible and that's at the very core of the Act as I see it. Now we move on to implementation, which of course, you know, is the job that is going to take not a day or a week, but probably many months and beyond that from the 6th of April of next year. Everything that we need from the legislative point of view is now there on the statute book, the code of practice, the regulations, the statutory guidance. There's still a great deal to be done before the Act goes live. The good news is, I think that the sector has been gearing itself up with huge effort to achieve that and our job as government will be to work alongside them to make sure that we make the very most we can of what will be a once in a generation opportunity.